hi guys welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a 2000s makeup look this is the very very last video of this series so i really hope you guys enjoy this video i enjoyed filming it so much it was such a vibe it's late night typically it's super bright on this window when i'm filming but tonight it's a late night so yeah let's get started with the video Alrighty guys, so we are filming this at 8.26 p.m. I leave for Lake Tahoe tomorrow for assisting a wedding because I am a makeup artist if you don't know. And my whole next week, I have schedules throughout the whole week. On Monday, I go to the Carol G concert, period. Tuesday, Wednesday, I have models. Thursday, I am prepping to leave to LA for Friday morning. We're gonna be a little bit hectic. So I wouldn't have time to film next week for the 2000s, so I thought, why not film it tonight? I literally just did the 30s earlier today. Anyways, I'm so excited for the 2000s. This is probably my most excited one. You already know, I'm gonna have the music playing. I really want this one to be fun and long. End it with a bang, you know? So we are going to talk through this makeup look, go really in-depth with it, because my last one was actually really short. I just edited it this afternoon, and it was like three minutes long, so I was like, whoa, what's going on? This could have been a TikTok. So I want to make this one longer that way you guys get to know me a little more i get to be a little more myself end it with a bang you know end it with a bang and it on a good note that's what we're gonna do <laughs> so the vibe for this look is going to be a smoky eye we're gonna do kind of christina aguilera kim kardashian vibes so we're just gonna go for that real smoky look i really want to do a brown lip right now but i feel like it was really nude back then so let me search it up real quick yeah so it was definitely like nude absolutely nude so jk i'm like nervous for it but this is the vibe we're going for smoky eye look you know just a very iconic look of the of the time so let's get started since i'm going to tahoe tomorrow i literally have all my makeup packed already so we're just gonna be working out of there i feel like everyone had a bright under eye low key so we're gonna do a smoky eye with a bright under eye and very minimal contour and blush and very nude lips you guys i'm really i'm really excited for this one but i'm also kind of nervous i don't think my eyes look the best with smoky eye i'm a little nervous about that one i'm gonna just get started i'm gonna go i'm gonna do brows first that can be like y'all y'all already know how i do i just put gel in Y'all, I didn't even pack my foundation. Good thing I checked because how did I not even pack my foundation? Imagine I wouldn't have had anything to cover up for tomorrow. Okay, so first we're going to go into the concealer and do the eyeshadow. I'm going to use a really bright concealer so the smoky eye look can pop. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 01. Alright, you guys, so I just primed my eyes. I'm going to go in with my Bisou eye pencil i've been using this since i started makeup school since i started my makeup journey and it's honestly been a staple ever since so i definitely recommend this eye pencil although it is a mexican cosmetic so to be honest i'm not even sure how easy it is to get because i would always get these at my schools and they were always like mexican women owned so they would just sell it there at school and that's how i would get it but other than that i really don't know <laughs> where you can get it or if you can even get it shipped i don't honestly know any good like american brands but i really want to do my research because once these run out what am i going to use so after i place that liner on i'm going to buff it out with a small sort of tapered brush to start smoking it out i learned recently that once you put the darkest color first it is way easier to blend out than starting out with the lightest color that is honestly all i'm gonna do and i'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye i don't have music playing so bear me this is the song i'm gonna use for my reels y'all crazy in love by beyonce and jay-z because i guess that was number one so we're gonna use it did i start recording yes i get scared sometimes i feel like i didn't think I record okay now that i have all the black set on my eyelids i'm gonna go in with a with a sort of flat brush like this it's like a fluffy but flat brush and i'm gonna go ahead and set it with my black from my dominique cosmetics gonna go ahead and go in with that dark black alrighty now that I have that black I'm just gonna blend it into the crease with whatever is left on my brush I'm getting ready for the club <laughs> that's what it feels like right now okay now I'm going in with a super fluffy brush and grabbing this gray right here and now I'm gonna blend that into the crease just slightly over the black that we have just to kind of create a little more of a defined smoky eye and i'm gonna make sure to leave extra space on the brow bone because we're gonna be going in with like a silver shadow up there 
That way we can make it super 2000s with the very silver shimmer. Okay, that's pretty much how I'm going to have it. With a flat brush, I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty Bounce Eyeshadow in the shade Buttercream. So I actually found a silver in the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's a really old one. It's the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette. I'm going to go in with this silver right here. It's literally... I feel like it might be a little too dark, but we're just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to mix the two. Honestly, you can't really tell, but as long as it's there, I'm gonna go in with my finger now in buttercream, the Ulta single shadow, and just kind of all over the brow bone because we're gonna look like straight from the 2000s right now. Alrighty, y'all. So I just finished with the mascara. Eyelashes look like they're pop in. So now we're gonna go into foundation. So I'm gonna go in between and use my L'Oreal True Match. Since I really want to make my eyebrows as thin as possible, I'm going to conceal the top of my eyebrows as well. I typically don't do this to create a more natural effect, but since I want to make them as thin as I can with just my natural shape, I'm going to go ahead and conceal the top of the brows. I honestly forget how much I love this L'Oreal True Match because she's good. Now for concealer, since they did a very bright concealer back then, or it looks like it at least, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline 01 concealer and just kind of focus this on the inside. Not really anywhere else, it looks like they kind of just focus the under eye for the highlight. Sorry y'all, I ran out of storage, hold on. Because I had to clean up some storage because I was running the long storage on my phone. This is why you need to come to my YouTube channel to see the in-depth version of everything. But anyways, let's go into bronzer. I don't want to really bronze up my face. Everything's a little chaotic right now. I don't want to bronze up my face too much, so I'm going to go in with powder only instead of cream and powder. I was an infant in the 2000s. Like, I was too young to wear makeup, so I can't remember what it was like. But based on the photos, it doesn't look too crazy. Alrighty, and then for blush, we're going to go in with a mauve color. For bronzer, we went in with this one. And for blush, we're going to go in with this mauve color. All of the Dominique Cosmetics, you already know. Face is pretty much done. We're just going to do the water i know Alrighty, so we have that and I'm just going to blend it out with that small brush we used earlier for the top liner just like that You guys i'm so excited about this look so now that we have that we're just going to put mascara on the bottom lash line So we're going to use the dose of colors liquid lipstick in the shade sand this it feels so criminal you guys this is one of those lipsticks that looks so good with the lip liner but without a lip liner it just feels wrong i'm just gonna go in slightly with a super taupe lip liner define a little bit you know now that that lip liner is set i'm gonna go in with a gloss what better one than the butter gloss in the shade fortune cookie all right you guys so this is the final look it looks like i'm about to go club in but in reality i'm just gonna go wash this off but honestly i love i love this looks just so nostalgic i'm literally one of my cousins or my sister going out getting ready to go out Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this very in-depth, like I talked a lot and I felt like I was very, I was just having a conversation with you guys. It is the very last video that we are having for this series. Let me know what you thought about this series. How did you like it? Is it something you want me to continue making series or was it something that you were like, okay, it was good. Let's focus on new content now. If you want new content, let me know what type of content you want down below in the comments. Do you want vlogs? Do you want makeup related? What do you guys want from me what do you guys what type of videos do you want i am down to do whatever i personally used to love doing vlogs so i probably will do vlogs here and there do you guys want like a full-on day in my life videos like as a makeup artist or just in my life in general again let me know what you guys think Alrighty, guys i really really thank you so so much for watching it was such a pleasure doing this series it was so much fun i'm so glad we ended on this note i just feel like I love it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you not on the next decade, but next time. Bye.